with another revisit and this time I wanted to go back to one of the first videos that I did, one of the first reviews, second one actually I think, and have another look at the light Hema Saber made by Berbekush for Inmotu. So I have had this one for quite a while. I'll put a link down to the original review in the description and yeah, if, if you've seen me fencing lightsaber and it wasn't about anything in particular, there's a fairly good chance that you will have seen me using this one. It is uh, just fairly typical for a later uh, type training saber. It's not based on any specific historical example as far as I'm aware, but it is definitely built with fencing training in mind. Um, one thing I have liked about it in the original review and that I still like about it is that it does have a good flex while still being good in the parry. So it does strike a very nice balance between flexibility uh, and stiffness so it's not wobbly. Going down to my uh, well, going back to my original review, basically TLDR, it, it was, I liked it very much. Actually, I liked it so much that while the original idea was that Paul would just, the owner of Inmoto, would just send me the saber, I would have a look at it, fence with it, and then send it back, um, I liked it too much for that, and uh, I just decided to buy it. And I very quickly had a feeling that this would probably just become my go-to saber uh, for things like Hutton, at least, not things like uh, the Art of Defense or any schools that are older, but anything basically made for this kind of light infantry saber, um, this would become my just standard. And yeah, this has come true, really, to the extent that the older uh, Berbukush Saber that you can see in the original review. I've actually sold that on, not because it was a bad Saber, it's just that I didn't use it anymore and I kind of needed the space. <laughs> so I've just sold that to uh, another member of my club, really. Through the use, it has held up great because of the uh, blade profile. There are just like virtually no real nicks to it. The basket is very sturdy. Again, no bigger nicks really. And one thing that I mentioned in the original review where I was kind of worried about was that because the seam of the leather cover of the grip is on the inside uh, and it is kind of pronounced, or at least it was in the beginning, less so now after some use, after some use uh, I was kind of worried that I would find that disturbing, but uh, yeah, no. I I had to actually watch the original review again to be reminded of that point. By now it's just, yeah, it, it's kind of flattened through use. It's less pronounced now and it's just part of the grip. I really don't notice it. So all in all, I can really say that I... Love it. It's a wonderful saber. I can really recommend it. I do have to say though that I have to kind of put a qualifier to that and that is that this is the Inmotu version of the light Hema saber by Berbekush. I don't know if the version that you can buy directly through Berbekush or through places like Purplat Armory for example, if they are the exact same model. Paul Becker, the owner of Inmoto, has a very specific idea about how he wants his blades to behave, how he wants the swords he sells through his shop to be, because he is also a trainer and he has a rather clear vision about that. And uh, I don't know if those are the same blades. I say that because I was contacted by someone who bought uh, a light Nima saber from Berbekush through another distributor and it turned out to be a good bit stiffer. I think this one 
if you place it on a scale and just press until you notice a bend, uh, it flexes at about six ish kilograms. And the one that they were talking about was much, much, much stiffer. So, slight qualifier. The Inmoto version I can definitely recommend. The version you can get through Berberkush directly, I don't know that version, so I'm, I, I just can't really say anything about that. I would hope they would be the same because it's a very good saber, but I don't know. So if you want this one, the one that you see me using in the light saber videos that I've put out, or, you know, just from the two videos now, then you would have to go through the in Moto shop because that then is that version really. So, yeah. Other than that though, as I said, it's, I have really had a good time with it so far. I am sure it will hold up just great for much, much longer. And it's just become the saber that I use for things like Hutton or anything else, really. So kudos, it's, it's a wonderful saber. Still holds up great, like it. Cheers. Thank you.